Sing one, shot four, take one. Slate four, C, take one. Scene two, slate seven, take four. Cover volume. Okay. That is 32 minutes past three. <laughs> okay. Action. It's one of those opportunities that you look at and you think, gosh, I wish they'd been around when I was first getting interested in film. Right, folks. But we can discuss it later on. We're going to go for making three films. Scene one, slate four, B, take three. My idea kind of stemmed from um, the view from the windows um, of the car park. I was thinking maybe it could fin start with the slamming of a door as though he's just finished an argument. Wait! And he's visibly, visibly upset and he's kind of sort of depressed. Take four. Action. And as he's looking out the window, um, he sees different things and he uh, spots uh, he spots himself at one of the little s s squares in, in the car park. Yeah, is everything in focus? Scene one, state two, take one. It starts off in, in the left. There's men or women handcuffed and there's kind of what I've called an enforcer kind of stand there kind of keeping guard of this person. There's kind of a more dark tone to it. This is scene one, slate one, take one. Can you get to do it? See you in a wee while. People want to get in, you guys get out. Don't get in. Okay. What's going to be your role today? Uh, I am the enforcer in the film Repentance. Scene two, slate seven, take three. Hello, Sophie. Uh, playing Sophie. Oh, what is Sophie doing? Uh, she's in a car crash and she's <laughs> deciding whether or not she gets to go to heaven or hell. I am the man in suit. He is basically God's right hand man. Hello, Sophie. What's going on? Where the hell am I? I can assure you, this is not hell. Can you just describe within the academy what happened? to prepare you for a day like this? Um, well, the director came in, who directed the classic Doctor Who, which was quite exciting, because I'm a fan. Uh, he came in and he told us basically how to approach the camera on stage and uh, how not, you know, what not to do and how to react to others, which is very helpful. Uh -huh. We are editing Small Talk that we shot yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting just trying to get all the shots to work together and string them together just to make it look natural and like it's all done at once, if that makes sense. Yeah. I have been helping the producers to think about marketing their films and how to identify the best audiences to promote them to and also how to think about getting press coverage for what they're doing. I think it's really important for young filmmakers to have an awareness of how to market their film. It's one of the great opportunities of the world we live in now is that it is possible to be both writer, director and marketer and press spokesperson for your work and if you have those skills then it puts you way ahead of someone who's not able to do it themselves. Well, it's a lot of work, definitely, and you can probably tell me to sweat my face, it's pretty stressful. <laughs> it's taught me a lot about how to make a picture look good rather than just pointing a camera at something and filming. You can actually have learned how to do it properly and sound and everything, so it's good. Take three. I've, I found it useful to uh, try editing, even though I'm not very good at it, I found it interesting at the same time. And learning about documentaries in the beginning was good because I never had a, I was never a big fan, but I much prefer them now after that lesson. It's the whole environment, just the, it makes you, that feeling where it just feels right, like I'm meant to do this, I just enjoy it. I loved it. Uh, scene one, state two, take two. Uh -huh. 
か。